Locations of Culture, which is written by Homi Baba. Introduction. Homi Baba is an Indian English scholar and critical theorist. He is the most important figure in contemporary post-colonial studies and is known for his key concepts like mimicry, hybridity, difference and ambivalence. In 2012, he received the Padma Bhushan Award and he begins this critical paper quoting Martin Heidegger's words from Building Dwelling Thinking which reads as follows. A boundary is not that at which something stops but from which something begins its presencing. Next, he talks about the border lives, which is the art of the present. Homi Baba explains how to locate the question of culture in the realm of the beyond. In contemporary literature and theories, there is the birth of the subject, that is, the reader's presence, which begins here. The beyond is neither a new beginning nor leaving behind of the past, but it is the moment of transit, that is, the link between the past and the future, where space and time crosses, producing difference and identity, inclusion and exclusion, past and present. So, here is a diagrammatic representation. For example, consider an individual who, which is the subject, the past of the subject and the new beginning. And in between, there is a moment of transition, which is the beyond, that is the interstitial space. It is that sailing back and forth in time, causing disturbance in the direction in the beyond. Next, he talks about cultural differences. Social constructions of class and gender has shifted and call for an awareness of subject positions like race, gender, generation, institutional location, geopolitical locale, sexual orientation that claim identity in this modern world. He tells how innovation in theory and crucial politics come when we think beyond the grand narratives. That is, for example, a colonial perspective on Caliban in The Tempest, which is written by Shakespeare. And it focuses on the moments that are produced in the articulation of cultural differences. Identity starts in the in-betweenness. So these in-between spaces provide elaboration of selfhood, which may be singular or communal. This space may initiate identity, collaboration, contesting and defining the idea of society itself. It is in this interstice, the experience of nationness, community, interest or cultural value are negotiated. Despite of differences, there is always an exchange of cultural values in these in-betweenness. The experience and collaboration of different culture, community and nation happens in this space of beyond or the in-betweenness and this is also where the identity begins. So next, uh, Homi Baba discusses the aftermath of Satanic versus Salman Rushdie's most controversial novel, Satanic Verses, has caused black and Irish feminists from a range of political traditions found um, women against fundamentalism in 1989. They made a common cause against the racialization of religion. Baba brings in the minority's perspective in the social articulation of difference, which seeks to authorize cultural hybrids in the moments of historical transformation. But he tells that tradition can give only partial form of identification. The borderline engagements of cultural differences may be with or without consent. They can confound the definitions of tradition and modernity or realign the boundaries between private and public, high and low or challenge standard expectations of development and progress. So this can be both consensual as well as conflictual. Next, he talks about Rene Green's perspective. She is an African-American artist who reflects on the need to understand cultural difference as a production of minority identifies that split. Her work of art is open, fluid, not making a claim to any specific way of being the act of being articulated into a collective body. To her, 
multiculturalism requires a person to step outside oneself to actually see what one is doing and that is the way of essentializing blackness next uh, she talks about the liminal space where political empowerment and enlargement of multiculturalist cause come from the interstitial perspective which is discussed earlier in the diagram what is an interstice that has been shown because in that particular place that is the interstice which is the beyond the identity is processed and in that is where the identity begins so political empowerment and enlargement of multiculturalist cause come from this interstitial space there happens a questioning in the in betweenness and after self analysis that is first there is a questioning of identity and then comes the self analysis which baba says an individual returns after self analysis to revision and reconstruct the political conditions of the present but everywhere there is a struggle for power and in every organization there are fixed monolithic categories for instance consider a classroom even there one could see the struggle for power and it takes a while for a new student or let's say the subject or the individual it takes a while for them to adapt to that particular environment or culture so green's architecture site specific work which is sites of genealogy displaces the binary logic through which identities of differences are often constructed these binaries are black or white self or the other green takes references from her architecture where the stairwell becomes a liminal space a pathway between the upper and lower areas and this will lead to cultural hybridity next in this liminal space there is a possibility of cultural hybridity let's see how the stairwell as a liminal space in between the designation of identity becomes the process of symbolic interaction it is a connective tissue that constructs the difference between the upper and lower black and white the interstitial passage between the fixed identities opens the possibility of cultural hybridity that entertains difference so here beyond means the spatial distance it may be the unknowable unrepresentable without returning to the present may be displaced the contemporary cultures instead of following blind traditions confront the concept of present as a time of now which is stated by walter benjamin baba says if postmodern terms with its restless and revisionary energy focus only on the fragmentation of grand narratives as i said earlier then it is only a verbal enterprise it must also focus on the boundaries of suppressed voices in post colonial immigrants literature the boundary becomes the place from which something begins its presenting so here the liminal space acts as a passage or bridge that crosses on the other side of patriotic fervor there is more transnational and translational sense of the hybridity of the imagined communities literature and cinema is being rewritten from the perspective of the other baba discusses about tony morrison's novel which is beloved it revives the past of slavery a narrative of an affected historic memory monolithical national cultures will end up in pluralist anarchy benedict anderson termed imagined community as the sovereignty of national culture baba says the great narratives of capitalism and class drive the engines of social production but do not provide framework for cultural identification of issues like uh, race sexuality refugees etc mr uh, mr whiskey sodia from the satanic verses explains how the colonizer will never know the pain of subjugation 
So contra modernity shows resistance to its oppressor. If you consider the resistant narratives or literature in the post-colonial critic, it deploys cultural hybridity of their borderline conditions. Baba talks about Gyularamo Gomez, the performance artist who explains how there is Labor Day celebration in Seattle with Mexicans being exploited as laborers. Next, Baba brings in the perspective of other critics like Osorio and Fainan. To dwell in the beyond is a part of revisioning, a return to the present, to re-describe culture. The borderline work of culture demands an encounter with newness. It renews the past and innovates the performance of the present. Therefore, the past, present, both these become the part of living. Nothing can be avoided. Osorio's migrant act of survival made a hybrid cultural space. For him, survival works in the interstices. So that is discussed earlier in the diagram because interstitial space is where the identity begins. And here too, Osorio says that survival begins there. Next, Baba brings in the thoughts of Alan Secular, who talks about non-synchronous time space of transnational exchange and the exploitation in a navigational allegory. The migrant workers who are part of the economic and political diaspora, they embody the Benjaminian present. Next, the psychologist Franz Fanon speaks about a world of reciprocal recognition. He locates an agency of empowerment for political survivors. For example, survivors of the wars, apathied or the concentration camps. They become the best historical witness. That is, they have traveled through that interstice or the beyond or the or what Baba calls as the interstitial space or the liminal space. These survivors had traveled through that and they have processed the identity. These survivors can write about their experience because they are in the liminal space. This processing identity is reiterated through Fainan's quote, which is, In the world in which I travel, I am endlessly creating myself. Therefore, cultural in interstices and the space of intervention the space where an individual comes into contact with a new environment or a new culture, this introduces creative invention into existence. That is, as Fanon said, in the world in which I travel, I'm endlessly creating myself. That is, the identity is not stable. It is always in process. Finally, Baba explains the recreation of oneself, the resettlement of the borderline community of migration. He focuses on the breaking of the time barrier of a culturally collusive present.